Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing video and in my previous video, the last video that I posted on this channel, you would have seen I provided a workflow for Huniwa, right? And we were trying to fit everything under 8 GB of VRAM. We were using the quantized version, the GGUF files for clip as well as the unit, the main Huniwan model. But now we have something very interesting that is called fast Huniwan. And you can see we have the GGUF versions. It is released uh, just one day ago and we have all of these files, right? And I'll tell you what is great about this. And I have actually created a lot of videos. So I'll show all of these examples as well. The first thing is uh, this can work directly with the workflow, which I had provided previously. I'll also provide all the workflow links and all of these links for the models and everything in the description box below. So now you can see we can use just seven steps. Technically you can use six steps. That is what uh, like fast video actually mentions. But I have seen when you use seven steps, you are getting more clarity in terms of eyes, fingers and stuff like that. So seven is still good. And in the original one, we were using 25 steps. So your generation time is getting reduced by four times on 8 GB of VRAM. So previously it took around, for me it was taking around 15 minutes, 14 or 15 minutes to generate a video with Huniwan, uh, like the normal model. And now it can be reduced exactly four times with number of steps. Now the time that we are saving, we can actually use that in a lot of ways. So first of all is that you can try a little bit like uh, increasing a little bit of the width and height. But uh, another thing that I would suggest is that previously you would remember we were actually using the Q3 version of uh, model. But now you can go for Q4 or Q5 as well. So this is City 96 and uh, all of these models have been posted. So you can see that uh, we can now go for the Q41 as well. It is 7.88 GB. So we can try that as well because we have reduced the generation time by four times. So we can like uh, it's OK to spend a little bit more resources on a higher model to get a little bit of higher quality. So that's the fun thing. Second thing is that always use the guidance uh, and the modeling uh, model sample SD3, both of them above six. So there is, I have seen a relation that if you increase this to seven or like 7.5, the video quality is good and the generation is also slightly faster, faster in terms of uh, that in seven steps, it gets uh, like resolved like a complete video. And if it is uh, getting reduced, if you uh, try to lower the guidance more and more, so you would see there are like some artifacts that does not make it feel like that the video has been completed. Right. So that was the whole point. Other than that, everything remains same. So you just select the fast Huniwan uh, GGUF models. And with that, you would remember we were previously using the same LTX uh, prompts uh, so that we can actually guess. Uh, right that uh, how better Huniwan is with uh, compared to LTX and now I have been using the same prompts for fast Huniwan as well. So with this let's go through some of these uh, examples now. One of them uh, you can see this is the first one. Just look at the clarity of fingers the facial expression, even the eyes, it is not like it is a very low resolution video, but even that even the expressions and everything, even this hand, the way it is uh, interacting with the phone, all of this looks so perfect, right? And uh, so this is basically this prompt and you can go to this page. I'll also uh, provide this link as well. So you can go to this page and you can check the prompts yourself to see which are uh, better. Sometimes I have also previously mentioned when we are working with uh, text to video models, some uh, seeds are just bad. So there can be a random seed that is bad and you'll get bad results for all the prompts. So try to generate like one or two different random seeds. And once you get a good seed, it generally tends to perform good with all the prompts. This is what I have seen, especially with the uh, text to video models.
right so this is the whole uh, prompt that you can see now for the second one this one one thing you would actually uh, notice is that uh, this model tends to create like it slightly enhances uh, the color grading so remember this while you are prompting it kind of enhances the uh, color grading it becomes slightly like uh, more prominent in the ltx one this was basically this so you can see that uh, although the eyes look a little bit of messed up and there is no like uh, talking or stuff like that but uh, the color grading looks a little bit with, uh, better with ltx and even with the normal uh, hunyuan video you can check out uh, my whole workflow i have a dedicated video for the normal uh, hunyuan models and you can see that uh, this tends to look like there is a blue color lighting harsh lighting going on but uh, w according to that you can see the eyes are perfect the talking is perfect and uh, recently there have been models which can lip sync with audio so fast hunyuan is going to be great with them if you can change the lip sync and you are putting audio behind it now let's come to the third one the coherency looks pretty good and the prompt for this one is a man walk towards a window looks out and then turns around he has short dark hair dark skin and is wearing a brown coat over red and gray scarf so again you can come to this page and uh, check out the whole prompt it is a very like uh, lengthy prompt and with uh, the video generation models they tend to perform better when you are providing very detailed prompts so you can see this one one thing that you would notice is that ltx has a tendency to just create like very uh, slow motion kind of things but here you can see that there is an abrupt turn the face turns and everything uh, the motion does not uh, seem like it has been slowed down so this is pretty good and for the last one we have this one and uh, firstly i'll show the prompt again and again one thing you can notice is that this is more cinematic color grading even the hunyuan has uh, more cinematic color grading but the fast one has a tinge like this becomes greenish tinge but just look at the quality you can see the eyes the way he looks around everything is so perfect there is no mess up and it is pretty good so this was the whole prompt for it so try it out and this was it for the whole video now i would suggest to try it out try different seeds that is uh, like one of the main things try out different seeds and uh, once you find a good seed try to keep it like note it down and try to keep it and generate as many prompts as you can so you'll get an understanding how to write the prompts because it needs very detailed uh, prompts like not just that a man turned from left to right the way the hair moved the way the clothes uh, interacted everything the more you mention the better video will come out so this was it all the links will be in the description box below check out the fast hunyuan and uh, get the best model if you have 16 gb of vram or 20 gb of vram get the best models that you can like uh, that your resources can fit in so go for like q5 q6 according to how much vram you have and you will have great generation so try this out and if you have any kind of doubt or questions put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you